Hi, my name is Ian Stewart, and in this video, I'm going to show you how VST3 parameter automation works in WaveLab Pro 11. Let's check it out. In WaveLab 11, we've introduced a highly requested new feature for the audio montage, VST3 effect parameter automation based on clip envelopes. This allows you to automate any clip effect parameter of an inserted VST3 effect plugin based on an envelope very similar to the volume or pan envelopes you already know from previous WaveLab versions. The easiest way to do this is to simply open up your effect, right click on the parameter you want to automate, select Create Clip Automation Envelope, and you'll notice that a new automation slot shows up in the Automation and Envelope section of the Clip Inspector. If you don't see this section by default, just be sure to check the pane visibility option at the top right here you can click on it and ensure that show automation envelopes are enabled. Once you do that, it's very easy to simply add some automation. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And then you can see that when we play that back, that node is automated. That easy. A few advanced options that you might want to be aware of. If you select multiple nodes, you can turn on smoothing using this icon. Now, because our nodes are so close together, the smoothing is behaving a little oddly, but if we drag this out, you can see this gives us a nice smooth envelope rather than sharp lines. In the Automation Inspector, there are a couple additional options to be aware of. First, you can turn any automation envelope on or off using the power button. So you can quickly bypass and hear what it sounds like with and without the automation without having to reset it, redo it, or anything like that. Second, you can show and hide your automation visibility. So by simply clicking between the different automation slots, here we'll see our volume fade. So let's quickly add something in here. So there's our volume and fades. Here's our EQ automation. We can also use this button to show multiple envelopes. So now by doing that, we can see both our volume and fades and our EQ automation. And we can turn off whichever one we don't want to see, have one on, have both on. So there's a lot of flexibility in terms of how you want to look at your automation and adjust it. Another thing to be aware of is that there's a text editor for your automation points. So you can quickly type in, I want this boost to be 3 dB, and I want it to happen at one minute and four seconds exactly. So you can adjust both value and position of automation points. And for the position, you can change whether it's relative to the start of the montage, relative to the start of the clip, or relative to the end of the clip. So for example, if you know you want to create exactly a five second fade, could go relative to the end of the clip and say five seconds. And now I have a perfect five second fade. A couple more things in the automation envelope pane. You can access a pan envelope. The pan envelope has a few additional options. You can change the pan law. You can change whether it's pre or post effects, which Consequently, you can do for the volume and fades as well. And also, if you go to any of your effects, you can access wet dry balance or host bypass. So if your plugin doesn't have uh, a parallel blend or a wet dry balance, you can create an envelope for that very easily, even if it's just static. And you can also access the host bypass. So if you just want a plugin to be on at certain parts, maybe in a chorus, have a plugin come in that widens something up, you can very easily do that. You'll also see that all the individual parameters are accessible here, but it's not uncommon for a plugin to have hundreds and hundreds of parameters, so menu diving can get a little tedious, which is why we recommend the right-click method. You can also reset a clip by using this button here. So that'll reset all our volume and fades. I can go to our EQ and reset that. And of course, you can delete envelopes very easily using the delete button. The only exception to that is volume fades. That's always gonna be there. That's a default global envelope. While we're talking about envelopes, I should mention a few new features that have been implemented to make editing envelopes a little bit easier. The first is that if you create a time selection and double click, it'll create three nodes. 
one at either end of the time selection and one in the middle. If you single click and drag, that will create four envelope points. That gives you this kind of square wave style of automation. If you hold command or control and single click, it'll create four points, but in more of this ramped shape. And if you hold command and option and single click, it'll do a similar ramp shape, but with a more widely spaced apart. You can also double click and hold to create an automation node and move it right away. So if I double click here and hold after the second click, I can move and position that node immediately. So those are the new VST3 parameter automation and envelope features in WaveLab 11. If you found this helpful, please give us a like and a subscribe. We've got more videos like this planned, so hit that notification bell to find out when we release new ones. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.